Good morning. I uh, appreciate you all coming so early uh, to hear about the Navalos laser. Uh, my name is Peter Kaiser, and we have a, a very distinguished panel uh, this morning to, to talk about things. Dave Brown really needs no introduction from Houston, Texas. He's going to talk about focal laser treatment with the device. Michael Ober from Detroit, Michigan will talk about pan-retinal photocoagulation. For those of you who've not seen some of the new enhancements to the device, may have not realized that PRP is possible uh, with it, we'll show you that. Bill Freeman from uh, San Diego, California, will talk about combination treatment and some of the results you can get using uh, this laser with anti-VEGF as opposed to standard focal laser. Marcus Kernt from Munich, Germany, We'll then follow also with DME management using the device. And then Michael Singer from San Antonio, Texas, will talk about some advanced PRP techniques. So really, what's the problem? Well, with diabetic macular edema, we all know that focal laser treatment works reasonably well to get rid of the edema uh, and stabilize the edema. But in, in general, uh, the visual acuity improvements were small. In, in the ETDRS, they're really minimal. In the DRCR net, slightly better improvements in vision with standard focal laser treatment. So really, for diabetic macular edema, the key treatment and, the, and sort of the first line therapy is moving towards injections with anti-VEGF agents. But all of us know the issue with that in terms of the chronicity of number of injections uh, and the need for, in general, these younger patients to come to our offices very, very frequently. So the idea then is with the traditional focal laser treatment, we really didn't see much reduction in the anti-VEGF burden. So the idea of combination treat with, with the standard focal laser treatment hasn't really caught on as much as uh, one would like. And maybe the issue then is uh, due to the way the laser is being done. So that's the question. If you use a much more precise laser where you have more consistent treatment of the microaneurysms and you can plan very precisely where you place your laser spots compared to a conventional laser treatment, would that allow you to have a more durable combination treatment uh, for diabetic macular edema, thereby reducing the number of injections and getting uh, these good visual results? And so that's sort of the idea of this morning, a part of it to talk about the DME part and also to talk to you about the PRP part uh, in a little bit. So what is the Novelos? For those of you who uh, are first being introduced to this device, it's a whole new system. And I say it's a system because it does both the retinal imaging portion uh, as well as the planning portion and then finally treatment and documentation. So it has a fundus camera and a uh, laser that has computerized scanning capabilities. Uh, so you'll see that in a moment, how you can scan with the laser. Uh, but more importantly, the eye is being tracked as this is being done. So you very precisely place these laser spots. Uh, and for patients that are being treated just for focal, um, you don't need to use any lens. So it's much more comfortable on the patient. So the, the traditional workflow with this device is you first either take a color photograph, an infrared photograph, or a fluorescein angiogram of the patient on the device. And that gives you an image to work from. And then using that image, you then decide, well, you know, I don't want to treat in the foveal avascular zone. I don't want to treat the optic nerve. So you block off those portions. And then you say, well, what microaneurysms do I want to treat? What areas of ischemia do I want to avoid? So you do your whole treatment plan on that image. And then you actually do the laser treatment. And the beauty of this is the eyes being tracked. So you just uh, basically go from point to point firing the laser um, because of some FDA laws and rules. You can't just do it automatically. You can't just do the plan and just say, all right, have at it. You actually have to fire the laser uh, yourself. But the uh, computer within Navalos tells you what spot you're at, and that spot is tracked. So you know you're treating exactly where you planned to treat. And finally, uh, you document. And the documentation includes all the laser spots and where they were pl uh, placed. So the documentation is very nice uh, for yourself to look back, well, what did I treat last time, uh, as opposed to trying to take a guess as to where the laser spots were placed. 
So as I mentioned, you first take either a color photograph, infrared, or fluorescein angiogram, depending on what you want to do. You could also take a color photograph, for instance, and, and pull in an OCT. There's no OCT in this device, but you could pull in your OCT image and sort of overlay the thickness map on top of, say, your color photograph or on your fluorescein angiogram. So you can say areas of increased thickening, maybe I want a grid in that area, for instance, uh, and treat microaneurysms in a less diffuse leaking area. Uh, this is the uh, planning phase, and so you, you pull up what you're going to use for the planning phase. In this case, we're using a fluorescein angiogram, and you basically decide the sites that you're going to treat uh, with grid, and then you block off the areas you don't want to treat. And I, I, I have a lot of residents and fellows in my uh, institution, and this is a great uh, teaching tool because I can basically uh, breathe at night and, and breathe while they're doing a laser because I know there's no way in the world uh, they can hit the fovea uh, and so it makes doing a focal with a first year resident a lot easier. Then you actually go in and do the laser treatment and the laser treatment as I mentioned follows each one of the points that you outlined in your treatment plan and it goes from point to the next point to the next point and, and so you know exactly where you're treating. You can do this very rapidly you know, since the eye is tracked, as I mentioned, uh, the, the laser knows exactly where it's at. And then finally, uh, as I mentioned, is the documentation. And it shows exactly where the laser uh, was placed. Uh, this is a printed report, uh, and you can then use that for uh, planning in the future. Okay, I treated that area. I'm going to go on to another pair area. And, and, you know, especially in the days of doing a sort of sub-threshold or barely visible burns, oftentimes you can't tell on a, on a color photograph where you treated prior, and this allows you to really know exactly where you're doing. So to me, this is a very unique platform. I, I have enjoyed using it quite a bit. Um, it really allows you to do very precise treatment uh, for focal, but as I mentioned, there's other aspects of this technology uh, and, and really that's the key point. I think the comfort is good because you don't have to use a contact lens for the focal treatment. For the PRP, you, you have to use a wide angle lens, but for the focal, you don't. Uh, I like going over the treatment plan with my residents and fellows because it really sit, we have to sit down and really decide, okay, what are we going to do in this area? Is it a focal in this area? Is it a grid in this area? Uh, and it really is very useful. Uh, for those of you who don't treat residents and fellows, it just allows you to be very precise about what you're treating as opposed to saying, okay, that looking at a floor scene on your screen and looking in the eye at the microaneurysm that sort of correlates with that area of leakage, you know, you hope you hit it, uh, but in this case, you absolutely know that you hit it. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're seeing better results uh, in a diabetic macular edema, which will be discussed in a moment, uh, than we do with the traditional focal laser treatment. So just gave you an overview of the Navalas system, and now Dr. Brown is going to take over and talk